In this instructional video, students will be shown how to decompose a fraction in a variety of different ways. When a number is decomposed, it is broken up into smaller pieces that when added together equal the number. Let's take the number 7 for example. 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals 7. 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1 also equals 7. 3 plus 3 plus 1. 4 plus 2 plus 1. 5 plus 1 plus 1 and 6 plus 1 all equal 7 when added back together. There are multiple different ways that a number can be decomposed. Fractions can also be decomposed. Let's take the fraction 4 sixths for example. This 6 is considered the whole and 4 are the number of pieces in the whole. We could decompose the fraction 4 sixths as 1 6 plus 1 6 plus 1 6 plus 1 6. We could also decompose it as 2 6 plus 1 6 plus 1 6, 2 6 plus 2 6, or 3 6 plus 1 6. Any of these ways would be the correct way to decompose the fraction 4 6. 11 6 is a fraction that is greater than one whole. We know that because we know that 6 6 is the whole and 11 is greater than 6. We can represent this using a bar model. This is 11 6 shaded in and we can represent that by decomposing it into 1 6 11 times. We know that 6 6 equals one whole and there are 5 6 remaining so 6 6 plus 5 6 does equal 11 6 but if we want to represent this as a mixed number 6 6 plus 5 6 would be equivalent to 1 and 5 6 because 6 6 is equal to one whole. Students should be able to recognize that this number is a mixed number because it is a fraction and a whole number, 1 and 5 6. We can represent that by a bar model, 1 whole and 5 out of the 6 pieces shaded. If we're looking at the denominator of 6, we know that there are 6 pieces total in the whole, meaning that this whole is represented by 6 6, and then the part pieces are is 5 6. If I wanted to add this together, it would be 6 6 plus 5 6 equals 11 6. Now this is the same as 1 and 5 6. It is just represented as a fraction greater than one whole instead of as a mixed number.